scam alert. The Better Business Bureau warns that con artists are calling and sending out emails trying to trick people into giving to phony hurricane relief charities. We are turning to Lisa Dietland, president and CEO of the Institute for Transformational Philanthropy, for tips on how to give. Lisa. You have to be a smart donor, just like you're a smart shopper. And there are a lot of scams giving. You know, I always give the reference point that, you know, when 9-11 happened, we were afraid to give our credit card information to nonprofits. And four years later, Katrina, the FBI identified 4,000 fraudulent websites set up to capture money. And that's what the Better Business Bureau, my friend Art Taylor, is talking about. He's saying, be a wise donor, meaning really check the website out. Make sure that it is the proper website. You should be approaching and looking, not responding to somebody calling you on the phone or maybe sending you a link in an email. You know, I wouldn't even click on that link. If you really want to give to the American Red Cross, Google American Red Cross. You know, make sure it's the right website and give to that organization. Lisa, you do have some stats on the high cost of recovery. What can you tell us? You know, most of us focus on the rescue or the relief, you know, getting people out of harm's way, getting them back into their affected area. But the recovery is where the dollars are really needed. Think about this. Last year, about this time, Hurricane Maria was battering, you know, the islands, especially our beloved Puerto Rico. And um, about two, three weeks later, Mark Anthony, Jennifer Lopez, Alex Rodriguez, along with other friends, did a benefit concert and raised $36 million in one night. Fabulous. They say it's going to be $95 billion to rebuild Puerto Rico. So while $36 million was helping in the relief, you know, making sure people had food and clothing and water and shelter, it's really the recovery effort. Don't forget, you know, Haiti is still rebuilding. Superstorm Sandy and what it did in New Jersey. It's the recovery phase. So think about going to local um, houses of worship, community foundations, so all those organizations like Habitat for Your Humanity that stay for the long haul during recovery. Thank you so much, Lisa, for all of this critical information. Thank you, Angie, for sharing this information with your viewers.